Hi, I'm Vincent Buda, and we're going to be exploring Sicily, a place that thousands and thousands of people have enjoyed throughout the world for great food, great history, and, and great ingredients. We're in the beautiful village of Castellamad. Castellamad is an old medieval village uh, set on the coast of Sicily where they do a lot of fishing. It's actually famous for fishing, but particularly tuna. Out here in the distance is a tuna farm. Uh, they used to harvest the tuna right here in the harbor, but now they have to go way out to the Mediterranean, bring the tuna into the farm over here, and they, they let them grow until they're ready for fishing. Uh, so it's an amazing tradition that's still well kept, but as you know, we've been overfishing the tuna. There's not many left, and this is one of the last places that they're bringing them in. Okay, we're back with Gary Portuese, and we're going to go out to the tuna pens, right? Yeah. Where they harvest the tuna way out in the Mediterranean on this little boat over here with Giuseppe. Okay. This is a farming environment. Okay. But um, they're actually raised in, you know, in natural water, not in, Got it. Not in an artificial environment. So they get the tuna, the tuna put in these pens, they raise them in there till they're big enough to be uh, brought right. back for food. So what Pepe does, his job is actually go out there and feed the tuna so they can get nice and big. Then um, when they're ready to be slaughtered, okay, <laughs> uh, that's probably the kindest word I can think of. Um, we actually, they actually have this boat that comes along. We'll see it. I mean, we'll, we'll explain it in action. And um, you get these sushi chefs who come in from Japan. Uh -huh. The tuna slaughtered. They're wow. brought right onto the ship. The sushi chefs cut it up. They take, they send a boat straight to Palermo Airport and fly it out to New York City and to Tokyo. I like that Amazing. kind of fast movement. Well, we're going to get on the boat right now. We're tight on time. So, folks, stick around. It's going to be awesome. All right, Gary, we're out here at the, uh, the tuna pens, where I understand there's about 8,000 tuna back here being grown. And uh, you had mentioned something on the way out here. There are these small yellow buoys out there yep. where they actually force the tuna into when they're ready for slaughter. It's What's it called? It's called the death chamber. The death chamber. This is amazing. We are about, I don't know, about a mile and a half out into the Mediterranean. This is the farm where they grow the tuna. They're using this farm to try and get the population going again back there. So it's a very humane thing they're doing here in terms of trying to build the population back up. Is that right? That's exactly right. They can't fish them in the old-fashioned way anymore. Mediterranean's been depleted of tuna, unfortunately. I, I, I love the fact that they take them out of here, they, they get them uh, ready for shipment, they go right to Palermo Airport, and boom, they're out to New York and Japan for sushi. I mean, that is fresh tuna. As fresh as it gets. Okay, folks, you didn't realize that Sicily has all these great things. It's a tuna capital of the world as well. So stay with us as we continue to, on our journey for seafood in Sicily.